Welcome to Tower Talk. This is our second edition of the show, and today we're going to focus on Art Hop, which every first Thursday of the month in Fresno, in the downtown area, and in the Tower District, uh, they're both venues for Art Hop. And today we have a special guest. Her name is Diane Johnson Mendez. She is an artist herself, and she has a, a gallery here on uh, Van Ness Avenue, just north of the Tower District. Yes. Or in the Tower District, rather. Diane, welcome to the show. Thank you. Nice to be here. Thank Congratulations you. on the new show. There you go. Thank okay. you. So, uh, let us know about your gallery and, and the artists that you have. Uh, this is, I'll be starting my 18th year as an independent gallery here in the Tower District. And um, I've done 204 art hops, and that's something I've done, you know, month in, month out. I have uh, currently 12 individual artists that are represented in the gallery, everywhere from ceramics to jewelry to watercolors, acrylics, uh, you name it, we try to have it, a little bit of sculpture. And uh, I have local artists and one international artist. Oh, wow, fantastic. And uh, the gallery's on this. What's the address of the 1274 gallery? 1274 North Van Ness, and uh, just north of Olive, on the right-hand side. and. Uh, yeah, we'll be open tomorrow between 5 and 8 for Art Hop. I usually open around 1 o'clock, so if anybody wants to pop in early and get hopping early, I'm there. Well, and there you go. So, uh, so yes. So Art Hop, every, everyone in uh, Fresno should know because, you know, there's so much culturally going on in uh, Fresno. It's the vortex of culture between L.A. and San Francisco. I love that word, uh, vortex. Yeah. Um, you're a venue for it. I am. And, uh, yes, we... Uh, invite everyone to the Tower District to go to Art Hop and, and downtown too. Um, but yes, thank you. Um, and Jeff, just one oh, thing to know. Oh, too. I am open Thursday through Sunday. So if you miss Art Hop, you can come in Friday, you can come in Saturday, or you can come in Sunday, grab a cup of coffee, wander around, and uh, look at some art. So you're not going to miss the show if you don't come tomorrow night. Well, there you go. So There you go. Oh, you know, just one slight little trivia thing. Mm -hmm. Were you aware that there was a politician that used your office for his headquarters for his campaign? I was. Do you happen to know who that politician was? I do. Do you want me to tell? You know, we'll leave it to uh, the audience. If somebody wants to email us at booking at, uh, uh, oh my goodness, booking at centralvalleytalk.com, we'd love to get an answer. There might be a reward for them. Might be a reward, yes. Bravo. Thank you. And that's our uh, show for today. No, we're no. looking at the art. Oh, my goodness. We're <laughs> looking at the art. Well, that was a nice uh. intro. So, yeah, let's take a look at some of the art that I have uh, that yes. yeah, people Beautiful. can see in person, in person tomorrow <laughs> night. <laughs> yes, yeah. okay, go ahead. But uh, I have a local artist, uh, Ole Scoville, and uh, she has been well-known here in, in the Fresno area. She was temporarily relocated to Laos, and, uh, to Laos and did some traveling, and she's back in Fresno, and her art is just exceptionally well done. And uh, very detailed people think it's computer-generated, and it is not. Um, so Ole has a, a, a nice variety of uh, her work, all done, like I said, very detailed pen and ink, marker oh. uh she mixes her own paints so that uh, everything's a custom color and uh, so this is what we have with her and hopefully she will be bringing in some new work as she creates it and that's something each artist updates their wall as their body of work expands so i don't put them on a schedule and i don't tell them when they change things they change it when they have something new to create and something new that they want to share with the audience Oh, bravo. You know, actually, I think I'm going to go by your uh, gallery you tomorrow. You should. Just it's for walking that. distance. Just tell me specifically what, what wall she'll be on when I'm there. Oh, okay, you'll beautiful. be able to see it. Yes. This uh, artwork is done by Mehir Kayal. He is from Calcutta, India, and we are Facebook friends, and he has sent uh, a body of work. These are 10 by 10 uh, pieces. They are acrylic and... Um, very interesting with his landscapes 
and he's very prolific. He does a lot of uh, work with students in, uh, in Calcutta and does a lot of painting with people on the streets and workshops, those type of things. Um, so he is, has been a, a nice uh, contributor to the gallery and has sent uh, a body of work. And if someone is interested in some of his acrylic paintings, I do have those, some in the back that I can bring out. Uh, it's best if you let me know ahead of time so I can bring them out. It's a little faster viewing that way. And then this is some more of Mahir's work. These are uh, hung in clothesline style, but I do have frames available for them. So if anyone is interested in a framed piece, that they, they can buy it either way. And so we have the acrylics on the top, uh, pen and ink uh, and colored uh, drawings in the middle. And then at the bottom, there are a few just his black and white pieces. So he, ha he sent a variety of pieces uh, and uh, they're very reasonably priced. It can make nice little groupings. Uh, Bravo. Excellent. And uh, this is Alstrom art. This is a liquid pour painting technique that uh, Erin Cook does. And she has a, a, a variety of pieces and uh, subject matter that she does uh, on the uh, just you can see a couple Van Gogh inspired pieces there on the right and uh, she's developed her own little technique there and has very detailed titles to her work. She works specifically, uh, she's a musician as well, a singer and has and then has a, a nice literature background. So the titles, when you read it, you say, oh, I know what you're talking about. Oh, okay, well, that's, those are lyrics from a song. Or, you know, she gets inspired by these types of things. And so it's, it's evident in her. If, it, if you can't tell by the artwork, you can definitely tell by the title. And then you go, oh, yeah, I get it now. Ah, bravo. She also has some very practical pieces, coasters, placemats, those type of things. This is a local artist, a street artist, Christina Pablo. She's new to the gallery. Well, she's revisiting the gallery. She... Uh, has gone through some uh, struggling times and so she has brought a body of work to the gallery that uh, we can help support her with that and uh, P Pablo Picasso I think is her inspiration and uh, so she uh, there's there are uh, other pieces she also has some sketches and again they're very reasonably priced on that and uh, this is pottery by Hal Rains He's a local uh, ceramic artist and uh, usable and exquisitely uh, detailed in his painting and colors. Um, unfortunately, these don't necessarily do it do them justice, but I have limited space and so I kind of have to d I display them as such. But uh, they're carved, they're, they're, they're just really, really nice pieces. And they add... Uh, a nice accent to any room. Uh, then uh, we have, oh, this is jewelry by Pam Wilson. She's a member of the, the Gem Society and she does a lot of wire wrap jewelry and uh, necklaces, rings, bracelets, earrings. Uh, she knows all the gemstones, the semi-precious stones. I do not. So uh, hopefully she has labeled them for my benefit because <laughs> when people ask me, I have no idea. It's shiny, it's pretty, and I like pink, you there know. You go. There and you that's go. that's kind of the extent of my uh, knowledge there. But uh, very, again, reasonably priced and readily available. You know, we do have Valentine's Day coming up, so if anyone's looking for an original piece of jewelry to give someone special, and we have male as well as female items, so. Uh, there, there's something, little something for everyone there. Well, bravo. And That's wonderful. This is a local plein air artist, and plein air is the French term for painting on location. And Randy Viger is, uh, goes out and paints on location. His trees are his main subject. He does a lot of uh, the oak trees and the orchards, raisins in the vineyards. Uh, local farmhouses because they go out and paint on location and that's what we have here and so you will some people have come in and they say oh I recognize that house that's out on such and such uh, Friant Road or whatever and he has them identified as to where the not the address of the location but the general idea 
and uh, like he does has several paintings with Jesse Morrill Mountain in the background. Uh, Friant, the you know the Oakhurst, uh, they do Avocado Lake, uh, various places. So when you go, it, it's a place that you will actually see. And uh, so this is uh, and his work is all in oil. This is a local uh, pottery uh, artist, Daniel Roberts. He is uh, beginning his hand thrown uh, career and uh, very interesting pieces. They're very rustic looking. Um, and uh, he just, he's starting out and he's creating his own little business. Uh, very uh, unique clays and mixtures of clays. And uh, so he, he's getting a f foothold. Bravo. That, yeah, a lot of, lot of nice work there. And uh, so I try to, to support the local artists. They don't have to be super, super professional. They don't, you know, they can be students, they can be retired. Uh, they can be inspired by something. They can be inspired. You know, nothing's better than an inspired artist. Well, so there you uh, go. it all works out well. I have, I have a, actually, I do have a trivia question I thought of while we were chatting. Okay. And I don't want anybody by any means to think that I, I'm great at art history. But uh, there was a music group in the 80s called The Book of Love that uh, did a couple songs about an artist of Italian extraction that lived in Paris and he died of tuberculosis and the day after he died, he lived in the, I mean, he did his most, his work was in the early part of the 20th century. The day after he, he died, his, his pregnant mistress jumped out of their apartment window uh, and killed herself the day after he died. Do you happen to know the name of that artist? I do not. His art was, uh, you would recognize his art because they were uh, mostly portraits and they had elongated necks, and most of the eyes were grayed out. Oh. No hints? No. no. His name was Amadeo Medigliani. Didn't know that. I learned something. That's my trivia of the day. Good. Thank you all. This is the end of the second uh, episode of Tower Talk. Uh, remember that uh, tomorrow is Art Hop, so please get out there, if nothing else, to enjoy yourself. Uh, it's, you know, it's basically free to look at art. So, yes, support the tower, support downtown. Thank you very much. Diane, it was a pleasure having you on the show Thank today. Thank you. It's been a pleasure being here. Thank you.